Welcome to the Hot Chicks Write Hot Books podcast with Jen Foster and Melanie Johnson, where authors give you their inside secret tips on how to be a successful best-selling author. Hi, welcome to the Hot Chicks Write Hot Books podcast with Jen Foster and Melanie Johnson. We're here with Ashley Reese today. She is a number one best-selling author and she's here to give us her inside tips. She is the winner of the Young Entrepreneur Award. She's here all the way from Australia, which we're really lucky to have her with all the time change. And she specializes in online video and social media, especially Facebook. So we're going to ask her some questions about that as well. Welcome, Ashley. Thanks so much for joining us today. Um, tell us how you got started writing books. Thanks so much for having me. Um, well, it was always, I've always been told by, you know, by our mentors that writing a book would give you a platform um, to write, to help grow your business on and to give you that expert authority um, to help you in business as well. So I, I always knew that I needed to do it. It was just a matter of getting it done. And we all know how good we are at procrastinating and waiting for that time to come and just hoping it might happen. Um, but back last year I attended um, a live event for three days and that's where it all started and realised that I could do it. Um, I think that was a lot of belief knowing that you think that it's quite hard to get a book done and that you kind of have to be this famous person to have a book out there I guess. But that's where it all started and it was a very it was a full on event but it helped me get to that next level and go, you know what, I can do this. So that's where it all kind of started. Awesome. So how how did you become an expert at, at what you do? How did you get started doing that? Um so four years oh four years actually it's a little longer than that. Um I started working in real estate here and I was employed to manage their social media and that's sort of where it all started and I found that I had a passion to do that. I attended a live event in San Francisco in about 2010 and I was in awe of um, how much, you know, just watching all these people there and wanting to know more and how to do this and that's where I kind of saw an opportunity to bring that back to Australia that no one was really doing that over here and in that space. So in 2013, I decided to take the leap and, and leave my full-time job. And basically, it's all what I've learnt, um, especially through Facebook and advertising, has been through other experts and investing in training through them to learn how to best utilize this space and um, and take it on from there and then and then serve my clients with that information as well. What are some uh, tips that you can give us about writing, how you got started to write your book, to actually put that pen to paper? <laughs> well, I guess it's really about just sitting down and I like to I like to map out everything and but I think in the beginning you really just I left that event and um, the next day actually sat down with my phone and a recorder and just started talking about what I knew. And once that was done, then I went and had that transcribed and, and then went and filtered through that information. I think that's pretty much one of the, the best things I just I left from there and I was like, you know what, let's do it, let's get it done. And I just started recording. It was just so easy to do. You know, everyone has a phone these days and has a recorder that, or a little mic that they can put in and and just and start recording because you can you can do it. It's so simple. Mm. And I thought, why didn't I do this a lot earlier? But you know, it's it's there and now it's done and completed. But that's how simple it is to just get started. And I think that's a, a important you know little tip that. Even if someone is interviewing you and asking you questions because you don't know how much you know until someone starts asking you those questions and that makes it a lot easier as well. Mm -hmm. That's so true and I think you pointed out something really good there is just just get started. Just just do it right. and, and go through the steps and just get it done. 
That's great. Yeah. So now that you've written a book, what would you say are kind of the do's and the don'ts to writing your book? Like, did you have any, you know, things that you wish you would have avoided or things that you did that worked out really good? What are the do's and don'ts? <laughs> I actually, when I, I recorded my whole book and then I had a, what, a 15-hour flight back home and um, I had an app on my phone that transcribed automatically. Mm -hmm. I would not recommend doing that because when it got transcribed and it was actually put into a format, there was things in there that didn't even make sense to me. And so um, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't do that because I had no idea what I was talking about when I went back through and read it. And <laughs> my mum actually, mum said to me, she goes, are you writing a comedy book or is this for work? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, oh dear. So, so that, don't do that. That's a good one, <laughs> yeah. to transcribe. Yeah. yeah, get someone to transcribe it properly, and um, yeah, who knows what they're doing? Don't don't do it yourself. That's definitely a don't. Um, people's feedback is probably the most important thing. I had a couple of people that went through and read the book before I actually went and launched it to see where maybe they didn't quite understand something. You know, I'm talking about social media, so I want to mm -hmm. make it as simple as I could. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of terms in that that I think you just get used to over the time. And so I had a few people read through it and put questions that they may not have quite understand and went back and, and redid it. Um, and so those little things, I think that was an important a part of, of what my book was, you know, to do that was mm -hmm. important. Yeah, I think it's really important for us, you know, as experts in whatever field you're in, you have certain lingo or certain kind of language that you use, and other people don't know it necessarily or understand it, so it's good to explain it or to go back and revisit that, so that's really good. That's right, yeah, and I think also to have, um, when you're looking at your different covers for your book as well, to have a few different options, because one cover might convey something to someone else, but to another person it may not quite fit mm -hmm. and I think I think that's important as well to have a few different options with that and see which best fits for for everyone in your type market of course. Mm -hmm. That's good advice. What would you say were some of your um, good marketing tips once you got the book written? Um, I love that you did the uh, you know the audio and spoke into something. I think that's easy for a lot of people to do. And you got all your content and you got your cover. So um, what did you do when you launched your book? So, well, trying to have time, times and trying to launch a book in America in here at the same time was um, very a little challenging. And I got a little overexcited. Um, and when it was launched, it was like 11 o'clock here, I think, at night. And um, I just I put it out into social media groups. Um, I had the next morning started running Facebook advertising campaigns for the three days. Um, to try and reach that number one bestseller and get the message out there as much as I could. Um, I spent two days actually just monitoring and watching and posting out on, you know, your Twitter and all your different social media channels to try and to get that um, you, the book out there and get it up as quick as I could. So I think that plays a huge part in a book launch and. And the best thing about Facebook is that you can go and choose those those clients or those ideal prospects that you would like to get that message out to. So that was a huge, that was really a huge deal. Um, I also, you know, emails to our local business chamber, our local council, mm -hmm. and in this area, and that was that was very helpful as well to do, mm -hmm. to get that out there in the local community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's really good. So you did offline marketing and online marketing. So letting people know in your area, that's great. So what would yeah. you say are three tips um, that you use for people to buy your book? So you talked about you know social media outlets and 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 your chambers and different things. But how did you how did you make your offer or let people know? Hey, buy my book. Um. So three tips. Well. Social media, def Facebook. So I, I created a few different campaigns based on that. Um, and I guess once you, you know, because you're not a best-selling author yet, so you're trying to push something out there that um, you want people to believe that you're the expert in that in that field. And so really getting that message and getting the message out there 
right to start with. Um, but Facebook was definitely, you know, I mean, there's fr your friends and family, and then I'm part of so many different groups where, um, you know, people were there to to help support you through that book launch as well. Hmm. And I think that's important as well, um, where you're trying to reach that number that number one status at the end of the day, and so, you know, those different platforms were were very helpful. In, in, in assisting and getting that up there and I mean it's not all about the number one bestseller is it it's it's just to have a book there if at the end of the day you just you have a book written that's more than what you had yesterday mm -hmm. and I think that's in that's important you know like 12 months ago I didn't have one and mm -hmm. even if it didn't reach that bestseller status then I, I do have one today so mm -hmm. I think that's just a little important message to put out there. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. So what would you say to, um, that since you've written your book, what, um, what has it done for you? Because of your book, what's happened? Because of my book, uh, I, did a, I did a book launch live in town at a restaurant and we had over 25 different businesses attend to that, mm -hmm. which was Incredible. Wow, um, it was a really impressive. great afternoon. Yeah, it was a really great afternoon. Um, so I, I did that. I was because of my book. I was asked to speak at one of the local high schools here um, to a bunch of Year Seven uh, students and kids, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that was quite inspiring. Not from my part, but from them and the questions that they had to ask about that. Um, mm -hmm. And that was that was really cool because I guess once upon a time we were all at that stage and and not yeah. knowing what we were going to do. Um, so mm -hmm. that was that was awesome. Uh, because of my book, I've managed to get contract deals, and it really does just leverage you as to be the local known expert, not just locally. I mean, I I have clients overseas and in in the US as well, and that just it just leverages that, and it's just been awesome and I wish I had have done it sooner but <laughs> you know mm -hmm. it takes time and yeah here we are today so that's so good. Mm -hmm. So what would you tell our listeners um, why why should they write a book what would you tell them? Well I think that if you have a passion for something and you enjoy doing that and you want to get the message out there more um, Writing a book does give you that credibility and I know it's a little different over here and a lot of people will still go and purchase, you know, a hardcover book to sit down and read and, and I think that's the beauty of about having a book out there and it gets passed around and that's what one of the things I've said to people like, you you know, share share the message with everyone and if you have a message in, in what you're doing then why not why not write a book and, and get that message spread out there more? And you have so many different platforms and you know, Amazon and it's it's not just one hub, it's you know, it's spread across the whole world and you just never know what opportunities are out there to help increase your business or, you know, just to spread the word about like if you do have a passion about something, it it doesn't even have to be about work. Um, or your business, but I think mm -hmm. you know writing a book is there is so much credibility in it, and um, and I think it's definitely one thing that everyone should do in their life. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's a great testimonial. I love mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Tell us if you have any um, since this journey. Do you have any funny stories that have happened to you since you've written your book? Uh, well, only the part of the beginning about my mum thinking I'm writing a comedy book, yeah. um, but, <laughs> but <laughs> not really. It's been it's been quite interesting, actually. You know, you you meet people that you know in town, and they they come up to you and you get talking and you say, "Oh, lucky! I've got a I've got a number one best selling book. Like, what? Have a read of it." And they're like, "You're an author." I didn't know you're an author. What do you have to be? To, what do you have to do to be an author? And I was like, you just, just write a book, you know. And um, <laughs> it's it's quite funny when people <laughs> people come up to you that they think they know you, and then they find out these little things. But mm -hmm. yeah, I think that's just they find that inspiring, and that's that's what I 
had intended to do with this book was to inspire others to do the same. Yeah. Well, and that's kind of the point of our podcast, um, Hot Chicks Write Hot Books, is we want to inspire other women and men to to write their story or write their book or or even just write the book about what they're an expert in and get it out there and get it published so that you can so everyone can be a, an author and and become a best-selling author. So that kind of leads into you know what we're doing this for is to help people understand that they can do it too. And you've given us so many great tips today. And we have an event that we're going to be doing in Dominican Republic. Melanie, do you want to talk about that for a minute? Sure. We're in, uh, inviting 10 lucky uh, women for this particular trip um, to come down and join us at this spectacular, gorgeous villa down in the Dominican Republic in Puerto Plata, where for that week, you're going to be totally immersed. It's going to be like a book writing boot camp. And Jen and I are going to run you through our system of how you can write your book and get it done. And then we're going to do some promotional videos for you. We'll help you with your cover. We'll get your book cover done. And um, you'll walk away and uh, we'll get your book launched for you. And you'll become an author and, uh, and a best selling author at that is what we're hoping for. So please join us. You can go to hotchickswritehotbooks.com and just subscribe. And we'll push and send you all the information for that. So, awesome. Yeah. Thank you. So Ashley, thank you so much for being on our show today. And we know that a lot of people got good, some good tips from you. And where can they find more information about you? Where can they go? What website? Um, you can go to unleashedmultimedia.com.au and, um, and then also my, my Facebook, Unleashed Multimedia. You can find out more about me on there. Awesome. Great. Well, we will provide those links. Yeah, and before we go, give us a couple of Facebook tips, a few uh, that you have up your sleeve. Facebook tips. Um, put out content that your audience is looking for. Make it give away as much as you can about what you do. Um, the other tip would be to to get your your followers. If, if you, this is important, if you think that you don't have an email list and you may be starting out, and you're looking for somewhere to send out your book to, and you have a Facebook page or group or whatever it is, they are an email list. Because <laughs> that's when I when I thought, oh my gosh, who am I going to put my book out to? Like, I don't know anyone. But, you know, you have people on your Facebook page and they're a list and that's who you can target to. I think that's a, that's a big one for a lot of people who are starting mm -hmm. out and don't think they have an email list. They're mm -hmm. on Facebook. <laughs> That's um, right. Yes. That's a great yeah, that's tip. A, yeah. Thanks, yeah. Ashley. It was wonderful. That's right. it was a wonderful. Thank you for having me. We really appreciate it. I know there's a huge time difference with you in Australia. So uh, we appreciate you coming to join us today. Well, that's it for us this afternoon at Hot Chicks Write Hot Books. Remember to look us up and subscribe to us. Subscribe to our podcast. Come join us in the Dominican Republic. You can find us on iTunes, Hot Chicks Write Hot Books, and hotchickswritehotbooks.com to come join us in the Dominican Republic. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, Ashley. Thank you. For more information, you can visit our website at hotchickswritehotbooks.com or you can text your name and email address to 832-572-5285.